Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Round 19, Series Futsal, here from the Series Futsal Arena. My name is Peter Parthimos, joined here by Alex Sifkarovsky. Big game tonight. Moreland versus Western Wolves. 1-1 is the head-to-head. Uh, -head. Alex, this one's going to have some uh, firecrackers. Yeah, and uh, big news coming out midweek. Uh, Noah Chinema leaving the Western Wolves. So not what they wanted. Uh, their lineup looking very thin. Uh, Moreland, season is on the line here. They lose here tonight. Hands the title over to Fitzroy. Last game won't even matter. So Moreland have the pressure on them. Fitzroy did win earlier on this evening against Altona. So now... Darren Saban has to get his charges going because uh, a loss here for them and it's good night for them and uh, they finished second for the season, unfortunately handing the title. So it's a big game, 1-1 one, one, as you mentioned, uh, played the first time. Western Wolves gave him a 3-2 touch-up also in the Clubs Cup as well. Yes. So uh, And then Moreland uh, came back uh, and beat him 5-1. So it's a revenge game, but can they get over the line is a question that a uh, many question. will ask. Western Wolves in a bit of danger, they've secured their place in the uh, Clubs Cup final up against Fitzroy, which will be played at season's end. Yep. But they've got a double-edged sword here. They could win a title, but they also can go into the relegation playoffs the way they're, they're heading. That's right. If we look at the ladder, uh, they are currently uh, sitting in the sixth place on 21 points. Uh, Carlton winning, they go to 24. So they need a win tonight, Western Wolves, because the last two games... They're not guaranteed to win there, Pete. They play no, Al uh, Hungry Altona, who is fighting for survival, yep. and a Camberfield, who want to finish the season off well. So this could be a dangerous game. A loss here for them, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to say, Pete, they're going to be playing playoffs. At the moment, the way things are looking, they will be playing playoffs. Let's see. They're still with this game, three games to go. They look a bit short tonight. Moreland are penciled in for a guaranteed win. Last week, Moreland did it tough against Camberfield, got the three points. Moreland... On the other hand, they're looking, they're the champions, they want the title. Yep. They're not going to just lie down easy. No, they're not. And uh, um, we, we try to speak to Darren Saban, but he's kept his lips tight, obviously. He doesn't want to, uh, the team's not doing any interviews from what I can uh, say from that he's uh, given me some uh, insight. He said uh, they're just focusing game by game and they're looking at just getting the three points and going to the last game and really going for it. So. Big fireworks for tonight. You know they've got to get past the Western Wolves, who, on any given day, can, they can beat anyone. But uh, can they do it tonight? Uh, is the question, and we'll find out in a couple of minutes' time. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, pictures coming live here from the Series Futsal Arena here in Thomastown. Western Wolves in yellow, very thin squad tonight up against the champions, Moreland. It's pretty much a foregone conclusion tonight. It looks like Moreland's going to put them to the sword. Or are they, Sivkarovsky? Is there a hope here for this small side here that uh, Western Wolves have uh, uh, rolled out? Oh, look, um, if, you know, you can never say never, but unfortunately, I'm just going to have to say it tonight, I don't think they will. They, they look very light there. If Moreland use their substitutes well, they can really get over the line, but... You can never say never. You you got Arbit Shandeb that can change the game. You got Sinan Gulak who's been in quite good form. Uh, Simon Araha. You got the big Lockie Ramadam coming in as well. He can change the game. But Stephen Gustas is going to be a big a big key for them. I think if Stephen Gustas can rally them along with Arbit Shandeb, they have a chance. But more than I think for me, if you look at the list of names: Adam Cooper, Arta Ibrahim, Alison Lim, Cosi Russo, Kevin De Santos, Jose Filio, Miguel Brigas, and Mohamed Temel. No matter where you try to stop somebody, somebody else steps up in the, to the plate. And uh, for them, it's, I think it'll be too hard. I think Moreland, either it'll be really tight or Moreland going to blow them out. And I've got a feeling they might blow them out tonight. They might blow them out. Moreland have to get three points. Obviously, we've yep. seen Fitzroy win. Moreland need to get to that last game. Last yep. game is where the head-to-head -head will count. Yep. Nevertheless, about goal difference or whatever, all they need is to win that last game. Yep. But they can only win it if they win the next two games. That's right, Pete. So before they even get to the last game, they've got to win tonight. Um, and if they don't, then kiss the, kiss the trophy goodbye. It goes to Fitzroy. So big game coming up. It's not an easy game. Western Wolves have the number over them and they're, they're going to have to play to their best, Moreland. Yeah, we've also seen Sinan Gulhak's done a show yep. a lot. Uh, he's come from Fitzroy. Yep. Earlier came from Carlton, went to Fitzroy, had a lot of potential, real great target. Absolutely. Can really score goals. Yes. He's going to play a big game tonight. If the uh, fiddle is left unchecked, he might damage. Yeah, that's right. And I think the, they're going to have to uh, really keep him tight. If they keep him tight, I think that's, that's one one uh, threat they've stopped. 
The other threat is Lockman Ramada. Uh, how do you stop him? You can't. He's too big. He's too powerful. He's great on his feet. Um, if they can get their game going, look out. But uh, like I said, I think more than far too strong. Far too strong. And uh, Chris Apostolakis had a fantastic season. Yep. He's missed a handful of games. Yep. But uh, he's been as good as any other season. How, are the, how is uh, Western Wolves going to beat this uh, this man? It's a great question. Not many people can uh, say that they can beat him, and he's so well. When you think you've beaten him, he somehow still manages to pull out a ripper save. Um, I think it's going to it's gonna take something big to beat Christos. Uh, he's a fantastic keeper, one of the best uh, to do it, and I think it's going to be very hard to beat him tonight. And Look, it might be height. That's the only thing I can think of. He, he doesn't have a big... Uh, he's not very tall, so with Sinan and Lockie, they're going to have to use that. And away we're going to go, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the game is on its way. We've got uh, a massive clash here. Moreland versus the Western Wolves. The Moreland Blues, our officials for tonight's game, is Costas Gatsas here on the near side. And on the far side, Michael Ciaras. The two managers, none other than Alec, Alan Kolak there for uh, the Western Wolves. And uh, for Moreland, uh, I'm pretty sure we've got Sam Milners and... Darren Saban, this is a bigger game than people think here, Sivkarovsky. And here we go. Shandev didn't get the memo and Tamburino in goals. We mentioned uh, Postalakis will start or well, how they beat him. But this is another man. They've got the Batman out there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, just when you think uh, you've got an advantage, uh, <laughs> Peter Tamburino's in goals as well. Multiple uh, you know, trophy winner, multiple Golden Glove winner. He's done it all. And... Yeah, just just when you think you've you, you know you got yourself covered, the uh, D man rips out the uh, Peter Tamarino for you. So uh, big big night, but every keeper's beatable. There's nothing we can't say they're not. Yeah, uh, or well, the best of them might have a bad night. So can I take advantage of it? Is the question. And we have seen before where uh, the uh, David versus Goliath matches uh, occur, where the little man wins. And uh, in this occasion, Western Wolves they're undermanned. And uh, they've got a lot to play for, but uh, Moreland have got, argument's sake, more to play for. That's right. I think Moreland, uh, like we said, uh, that trophy, they, owned, they want to get back-to-back. -back. They uh, won it last year quite comfortably. This year, not as comfortable. They're going down to the very wire. Darren Saban um, has kept quiet since they've had that media pan. Uh, we don't know what to expect uh, you know, in the remaining games. So for them, a loss and uh, it's all over. So they, there's a lot of pressure on them. Okay. And uh, starting line-up here for Moreland, we've got Jose Filho, Kevin DeSantos, Cosimo Russo, and the Flying Dorman, Ibrahim, uh, Arte Ibrahim. In goals is Peter Tamburino. Uh, one of the best starting lineups in the competition without a shadow of a doubt. And for the Western Wolves, we've got um, Jason Isaac in goals. We've got uh, Abbott Shendeb. We've got Sinan Gulhak. Looks like there's a free kick on the edge of the, uh, the D. Joseph Toma and Tintin -tin there. Stephen Gustus will call the players as they come on. But uh, good opportunity here for Moreland to start off. Mark Ciara's pacing it out. What will happen? Here we go. Pepino! Jose Pepe Pepino with the first one. Jose Filho walks up. Dead eye dick. I'll tell you what, he hasn't missed many from the spot. No, but even from set plays. Yeah, been uh, again just uh, just showing their class. Just found the gap early, and when Pepino sees that gap, in he goes for it. And you can see here quite casual, leaning up against the fence, and not even running up to it. Just gone. I know where it's going. It's and, gone uh, in between, hasn't it? Yep. So not the start the Wolves wanted, but nevertheless, Moreland off to a great start. One nil. One nil. This could be a big uh, cricket score. Unless Western Wolves come to play. They've had a chance already. Tamarino had to stop it. Here's another. But Jose. Oh, and Toma. So you can see they're not going to just lie down. No, I think they'll put up a good fight. And they're just going to stay in the game. That's all they have to do. Stay in it. Not let the score blow out early. There's Pep looking for Cozzy there. Ishak brings it out to Gustus. Abed Shandeb. Very important player for Western Wolves. Looking for over the top, looking for Sinan Gulak. They've got to go the long target. They've got to play to their strengths. It's got to be a lot of throws over the top. The word's got to be to Alan, uh, Alan Kolak, the manager of Western Wolves. Go long, son. They've got to use that to advantage. I think uh, just having that key tall for them. 
As Shandeb now looking up, nothing really in front. Puts it in. Oh, a lovely one too. Toma there as it falls to Arta Ibrahim. Good save, Ishak. That's all they need, a sniff. Arta Ibrahim with a good shot. Good save there. Jason Ishak had to pull off another save there. Well, now Abbott Shandeb's out there. You know you're going to get a battle, though. Never gives up. Uh, always, you know, gives it his all. And We've got a number of top youth players, but uh, none better at the moment. I reckon this season than Abbott Shandeb. I think he's been um, perhaps the best youth player um, in the competition this season. He's pretty much been a senior player for, for the Western Warriors. Yeah, Wolves. he's the youngest and you could say the senior, but uh, definitely I think at a top two. We've got to remember Josh Allen, another very bright youngster. That's, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if he's still under 21. I think is he, he is, isn't he? He probably he is. Probably, yeah, yeah. So Tell you what. You never know. These kids, they've been playing for years and they're still... Uh, they start so <laughs> young. And it's good to see because the uh, undergrowth is even... Even the youth league on Saturday, which you'll see advertised, there's uh, 14, 15, 16-year-olds coming yeah, up too. Yeah, so uh, they might it's be crazy. Uh, 10 year experts at uh, <laughs> only 24. <laughs> well, there's no doubt about it. In the next 10 years, Australia, especially coming from serious futsal, will be perhaps one of the best best futsal, or at least serious futsal nations in the world. Absolutely. Is uh, Arte Ibrahim now looking to go forward? Squares it to Cozzy. Cozzy, oh, lovely, lovely dummy. Play. Oh, he's hit the crossbar there. Cosi Russo, beautifully done. He thinks he might have got a deflection. Referee far side, Michael Ciaras doesn't agree. Might have caught a deflection, but it was a beautifully crafted effort. Wow. It's going forward here. This is the Santos and Cosi linking up. Pep looking for the line. Good work there by Gustus. Not out of trouble yet. Santos, lovely little hit. Oh, good save by Ishak there. So Morla now getting quite comfortable. Western Moors need to be careful here. Over the top. Headed away by Toma. You can hear almost the pin drop mm -hmm. in the background. Opportunity here for another corner set play. Over the top. Shandeb just does enough. But the ball falls for the flying doorman. Here's Pepinho, the goal scorer. 1-0 the score. More than doing it comfortably at the moment. 1-0 is not a massive uh, score margin. So Western Wolves will know that. They've, they're actually very good at coming back, the Western Wolves. So Araha on the pitch now. Simone Araha tries to find Sinan Gulhak, the doorman. Arta Ibrahim runs out of real estate. As you mentioned, head-to-head -head is 1-1 one -one between the two. It's a 5-1 shellocking from the uh, Moreland. And uh, the Western Wolves then defeating uh, Moreland 3-2. Oh, chance for Arte. Big save, Ishak there. Got down low. So, went for placement, uh, Arte Ibrahim. Yeah, he usually uh, buries those ones. So, he's had a couple of cracks at it. They go all... The, uh, so, I'm not sure what's happening here. Is it a turnover? Is it Moreland ball? Looks like it's a... Kevin the sound off thinks it's a Moreland ball. Bit of confusion here. Costas Gats so, is getting the uh, information in the ear, it sounds like. So we still don't know whose ball it is. It will be Western Moore's ball. We eventually got it. It, so was a, it was a pick of the two, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So uh, Ave Chandeb now finds Araha. Played in the middle. Toma brings it back out. Smart play. Chandeb back out to Araha. Trying to open up a bit. Pinched again. Here comes Cozzy now. Cozzy, good save, Ishak. Ishak had to pull off at least three dangerous, you know, well, great opportunities and uh, definite goals. So keeping oh. him in the game, good here's work. that man. Cool hark now, twisting and turning. <laughs> Two oh, solid Brings games. that out now. Pep, can he finish? Oh, took a deflection. It is a corner. I think Abbott Shendab just got in the way. And Ishak's been the busy out of the two keepers. Tamburina hasn't had to do too much. No, just uh, gotta be you gotta be careful as a keeper. You don't want to be too cold uh, when when you're forced upon. As uh, Pep now straight shot gets blocked. The Santos back out. Arte plays the one-two oh, pitch. Opportunity Shandeb, here. Can he finish it off? Oh, it. Araha, good save. That one over there by Batman is Cozzy now. Arte just slowing things down, waiting for reinforcements. Patiently build up here. Cozzy now got some space. 
Good tackle there from Shande, but does that well. Toma. Sinan, good work here. It, Raha tried to thread the needle, but Adam Cooper, the fifth official, just coming on now, missing last week. Enjoyed his break. Finds Arte Ibrahim. Cooper. Will he wind up and just a bit too long there for Kevin DeSantos? Araha. What can he do? Starts again. Shot. Oh, Tamburino forced to save that one. So, detesting him in the last couple of minutes here. And another mistake here from Cozzi. So, uh, Moreland at the moment. Not very really clinical. Sean Darren Saban would. Oh! oh! And Tamburino. Very nearly. Almost got caught there, but. Uh, Ball just took a deflection, went wide. So Muhammad Temel coming on. Timmy, first touch on his left now. Squares it. Oh, inches away was Kozzi Russo there. That evaded everyone. Isaac couldn't get a touch on it. Kozzi couldn't get that nudge. Went right through in the block. Oh, very dangerous ball going through. Uh, Muhammad Temel, dangerous as ever Goal now. Goalkeeper's nightmare, that ball. Gustus trying to direct. Traffic now goes back to Raha. Sinan. Sorry, uh, Chandeb. Raha just a bit too casual there. Mohamed Temel will be pleased with that. Forcing Wolves back. See, they've only got one on the bench there. So, Pete, it's going to be a, a tough night here for Western Wolves. Tough night in the office, that's for sure. Here we go, Chandeb. Go back to Gustus. Raha. Puts Gustus under the pump, but he manages to get rid of it. Tambrino picks it up. Going forward again. Temul turns around. Plenty of time. Arte had to have a bit of a rest here. Lovely ball over the top. Raha. It's got to be careful. Arte oh, coming oh, out. Oh, oh, he did enough there, but just ran out of space. Just needed to get the right angle. It would have trickled in. Would have been a beautiful goal. You can see, uh, Pete, Western Wolves trying to slow the game down here. They don't want to run too much. They don't have a bench. They know they have to be clinical with every possession. Oh, oh. lovely work here. Mohamed Temu lines it up, and that's just wide. Timeout called here by the Western Wolves, I think, is it? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, frothers from all over this beautiful flat earth of ours. We're back right after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Series Futsal here for round 19 in the beautiful Series Futsal Arena in Thomastown. It's the third game of the evening between Moreland, the reigning champs, and Western Wolves. Moreland leading 1-0 thanks to a goal from Pep Filio. Timeout call there by Western Wolves. You can see that's their bench, one player. So they're going to have a tough yeah. day in the office. There's Muhammad Temel. Oh. Muhammad Temel just went bang. How did he squeeze that in? He makes it 2-0, and Pete, the uh, Moreland on easy street now. You think they're on easy streak? In fact, 
another goal will be definitely easy streak, but uh, it's just quality. Have a look at this. Look at this, Mohamed Temel, rather nicely and just impossible angle there. Left foot. And Ishak could have pe perhaps covered that early post, but it came so quick. Well, Mohamed Temel just... Coming back. Oh, oh finish. Wow. Sinan Gulhak says, I'll do one better. And it's 2-1. Seems like Sinan Gulhak never got the memo. And he goes crackety pop off the post. It's I exciting. Don't, I don't think D-Man sent him the check, Pete. That's why he's like, he got angry there. You can see no emotions whatsoever. Absolutely rifling this one. One touch. Bang on his right foot. Tamburino well beaten that time off the inner post. Not much anyone could have done about that Not one. Not at all. It's a great finish there in the walls. Just when you think they're out of it, they come back. This is where Moreland have got to be careful as well because when you think you've defeated a side, you might rest Ooh. a bit too much. Gustus there, letting one go. We see Allison, the cold-blooded killer Lima on. So We saw it last week. They gave uh, Camberfield too much respect and Camberfield almost pinched the game in the penalty shootout. Moreland have got to be very careful with his dangerous, very undermanned Western Wolf squad. One on the bench. I don't remember the last time I saw a serious futsal squad rock no, up with one on the all. bench. A chance. Oh, 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 it is. It's two all, sorry. Simona Raha puts it in and it's 2-2. Two, two. Just like that, Moreland from that time out have absolutely gone to sleep here. The futsal guards are looking down. Let's have a look. You can see Sinan Gulhak, lovely ball in. And Abed Shandeb just held it, held it. Cheeky back, I'm not sure he meant it. And got a lucky touch there. But nevertheless, they go in. It's in 2-2, two, two, Pete. Wow, we've got a game in our hands now. Just like that. And uh, it's it's what happens. You know, you underestimate. You look at the bench. No one's on the bench. I don't remember the last time. Of course, there'll be some serious fines out there for uh, the Western Wolves. But uh, nevertheless, when you're more and you're looking down the barrel here and you're thinking, look, this is an easy beat team. Well, Pete, the now you're two all. The panic starts kicking in. The sweat's in. The pressure's on. You've got Fitzroy looking at this game. You've got the, everyone looking at it. Western Wolves, you know, they'll be happy. They'll take the fine. They, they, they get the free points. They'll be happy with it. They'll pay whatever. Yep. Omar, Omar Shandev has deep pockets. He's told me. Uh, They're so we, deep, but he's got short hands. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't reach the bottom of them. There's a chance now for Stephen Goodson. If this goes in, Pete, well, you surely more than call a timeout. Well, it's gone into the wall. Sinan, Sinan, not much on there. That was a bit of a uh, hop, skip and a jumper. Well, Darren Saban now. You'll be wondering what happened to the Australia Post. Did they send out those checks? Uh, you look comfortable at 2-0 and then they've come back 2-2. There so, they go. Game on, 2-all. Moreland have got to pull off their top shelf performance now. Remember, Western Wolves have booked their spot in the uh, Clubs Cup. Something's happened off play. I can't quite see here. Well, what happened, I wonder. So Something's happened off play. Hopefully the cameraman swings around. Not sure what's happened. Maybe uh, it's a foul. So We would have missed it even on the top camera on this angle. This is Adam Cooper now. So this is uh, fifth official territory here. One in the wall. No arguments, so I'm assuming. Oh, Ishak squatting that. Araha swinging a miss. Gustav eventually gets a foot onto it. Wow, what a game we've got in our hands here, ladies and gentlemen. It looked all done and dusted, and Western Walls, like a wounded wolf, have come back, and 2-2, uh, 6.45 left to go. Yep. Opportunity there in the block hole there. Kevin, the sounds of the rest of there, Gulak. Gulak's going like 10 men. He's kicked a big rip snorter already. And he's going for it, bulldozing his way through. Another young star. Oh, Tamburino. It's only 19 years old as well. Ooh, oh, chance again. Shendeb just snuffed out there by Allison. Here's Dos Santos. Great Abbott's going to give a 2-3 efforts here. All the way back. Adam Cooper into the middle of the block hole. Araha, he wants to go poppity crack and he, he does. does. There's a fall. Oh, took a deflection. <laughs> well, it's uh, into an action here, Pete. Uh, for the purists at home, they'll be loving this. Fitzroy more so. They know if Moreland lose, they take the title out. Last game won't even matter. Cooper. Finds Temo. Scored a ripper of a goal. Lovely ball in. Cooper, can he finish? Oh, Gets lovely out. play. Oh, oh, look who's there. Ab. Shendeb. Let's, Let's have a look at the foul now, uh, yeah. Sinkarovsky. We've managed to see something. So, well, 
something happened. Then might have been a I oh, pulled him back, perhaps. Maybe it could have been very big, but yeah, uh, he might have pulled him back. We didn't get that bit. We don't know exactly what happened. Maybe there's a better angle or a bit longer version of it. But we'll keep going. Dos Santos, oh. side ball. For, let's have another look at it while the ball's out. So the play they come into play roughly around now, and it's and yeah, just oh, holding it back. Shirt. It's a little bit soft actually, but uh, yeah. But the free kick uh, must have been there even earlier because the ball was dragged way back. So it might have been the second bite of it. Could Nevertheless, be. Toma, long throw over the top. Cooper cuts it out into the middle. Allison back to Cooper. Cross goal. Dos Santos, Pepe Lapu. Here we go. Press is on. Western Wolves right deep into their own half, into uh, Moreland's half. Dos Santos, Abbott. Look Ooh. at this. They won it. Cooper. Energy Very lifted a bit there, uh, Yeah, just the both teams uh, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. No one giving each other an inch as uh, Stephen Gustav gets a well-earned break. They're going to be huffing and puffing today. Just going to have to play smart here, the Western Wolves. When they need to use their energy, they need to. When they need to conserve, they need to conserve. It's a, it's a bit no. of a chess match. No Lockman Ramadan. No Blue Co. still enjoying himself in uh, Bali. Shot comes in. That's gone down. Obviously Thomas down. no Chinema. No, no chinema has gone for the Wolves. So, geez, he would have been a, a good inclusion tonight. That's for sure. They go long again. Comes off to Santos. Tamburino brings it down. Adam Cooper, fifth official. He's relaxed from his own little holiday last week. Yes, had a break last week. Back into the thick of things. Ooh, Lima gets on the end of it. The cold-blooded killer just couldn't get the leg around. Alison Lima. No, Adrian Curatides. We no, haven't seen him for a missing, while. Yeah, he was back. He was in last week. It was. We haven't well seen Ian and Toma for a few rounds as well. No, host the names out. Chance of a bit of a collision the Alison Lima and Araha tangling there. It's going to be a yellow card, looks like it. Who's it going to go to? They're looking around. Looks like Gosses Gats is just having a, a few words to both. So he's got a card in his hand. Who will it go to? Will it go to both or one? What's happening there is a bit of chitter chatter. So no card given, so maybe just a warning to a both. A stern him know. warning, a stern warning. Letting him know he's on to him, he knows what's going on. So just on the three minutes left to go here. 2-2. Two, two. Moreland. Oh, they go the long throw. Raha lets yeah. it go. And the goal here to the Western Wolves will really... Upset the apple card. Moreland perhaps think three points are uh, given. Oh, and there it is. is. And perhaps Allison it is. Lima. Just the right place at the right time. He taps it in. Good work there from Adam Cooper. Let's have a look at it here. Started off Kevin DeSantos. Played a lovely ball down the line. Cooper, lovely turn here. You can see Alison Lima just got in the right. Oh, cheeky back heel too. It was a uh, beautiful play by Adam Cooper. He uh, got right in that block hole. That is a keeper's nightmare where that ball ends. And uh, Abishendev just was caught off. Alice Lima came from behind and uh, back it in. And that's exactly what the D-man and Sam Milners would have wanted. 3-2 the score with two minutes in the first half. That's Tomo there. Let's one go. And it's just why Tamburino comfortable with it. Uh, not out of it as yet. Western Wolves, they're holding on. At the moment, it's just clock management for them. They've only got one sub. Put the pressure on. Oh, is that a back pass? Oh! Araha just bulldozing his way through Adam Cooper there. It's He's giving away a foul. So it was dangerous play, playing right at the last line. Oh, well, Adam Cooper just had to put his body in the line because if uh, Tambourine touched it, it would have been a spot kick for Western Wolves. And they do it oh, again. Oh, this. Sinan... Oh, it's bouncing around. Still it's like, going. It's like they're asking for trouble. They're inviting the Wolves into this game. D-Man's got to rein him in and say, boys, wake up. The Raha lets one go and just over the bar. Time out on legs 11, 1-1-1. One, one, one. 
What a good number to go to a break, ladies and gentlemen. You mad frothers don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Game over. Game over. didn't look comfortable whatsoever. No means. Troy now have to. Oh, and well, it's another goal. 5 0 the score in the end. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the Serious Futsal for Round 19. Third game of the evening has been the champs, Moreland versus Western Wolves, and it is Moreland leading 3 2. For a minute, 10 left to go on the clock, as we see now. Pep Filio oh, goes right. Oh, that. Kevin DeSantos <laughs> ended up going in. Eventually, and Moreland, they get two quick goals to extend their lead to 4 2. Let's have a look here on the replay. Timeout was well worth it then. Have a look at this. Pep found the spot and he thought that Kevin the Santos maybe just... Oh, it's, oh, it's come, come off, off Ishak. <laughs> so Kevin may be doing the defending, but in the end it worked out well. Ishak unlucky there. And he's back to it. Then uh, not what the Wolves wanted. A chance here. Pep, can he finish? Oh, oh he skied it. You don't see that often. You see him sky it, but not often that close. Wow. Pep Philly could look back at that one and... Ask himself, how did he miss? Very, Oof. very... Oh, pinched again. Good work, Toma. Wins it back for him. Good work there from Pep. It's going to be a foul. And going against Moreland. Oh, it is against Moreland. So we've got five seconds left. Toma lets one go. That's quieted. That'll be all she wrote for the first half. The champs, Moreland leading 4-2 against Western Wolves. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Turner again, turns nicely, rockets it into the back of the net. Goal of the night so far. That was a beauty. Nathaniel Turner there, what a beautiful finish. Just pirouetted beautifully here. He started it off, ball out wide. The Mad Dog straight to back to Turner, but look at this. Just, I'll do a little bit of a pirouette here. Sold it nicely, then what a finish that was. Frano Sarri, flat-footed, and they make it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Series Futsal for round 19 here in the Series Futsal Arena in Thomastown. 
Coming to you live in the third game between Moreland, the reigning champs, and Western Wolves at the moment. Moreland leading 4-2 after two quick goals in the final minute and a half of the first half. As you can see, Western Wolves very light, only one on the bench. With the big second half, a chance there for Cosi Russo, just going wide. Western Wolves needing a goal up early. If they can get the first goal, it gives them a chance. Anything can happen. They are an exciting team to watch on their day. They're up against it against the reigning champs who know a loss for them tonight. And it's all over. Their title hopes are gone. So plenty to play for in the remaining half here. Can the Wolves cause a big upset here? As they go forward on Abed Shandeb. Just couldn't get there in time. So. Whistle goes there. It'll be Peter Tambrina to bring it back into play here. Finds Kozi Russo. Arte Ibrahim. Skipping away. Good press here. Temel. Cozzy, lovely ball out. Can he get it through? It's good defending there. Miguel Barrigos was patiently waiting for it. Arte couldn't get it to him. Side ball here. What can Moreland do from a set piece? Mohamed Temuino can rifle from his left. Goes out to Cozzy. Cozzy looks up, patiently waiting. Temu had to stretch there. All quick one, two, but I don't think Temu had enough time to even turn around. There's plenty of time still, Sivkarovsky. Western Wolves haven't got the legs. That's the major problem here. Did Sinan they? Gulhak showed us a little bit of initiative. Rifling in that uh, first goal for the Wolves. They need to go long to him. I think they've got to play him like non-stop. Yeah, but uh, is that first half? Did it, did it take a lot out of him and just have not enough energy for the second half? Because I know Moreland got the subs. Moreland will squeeze the life out of Marbet Shandeb, working hard as ever. He's still going. <laughs> Look at him go. He's like an energizer bunny. He doesn't give up. It's going to be a foul. So, Cosi. He... Is that energizer bunny still around? Not, I think he is. I'm not the young, sure. The young uh, listeners know what that is. Probably not, P. Maybe we'll have to Google, Google that one. But uh, as <laughs> Arbed puts it along, it's a good I think, ball. Uh, I don't think I understand anything I say half the time anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> here Jeff. we go. Let's see what's going to happen here. Here's Barragos. Dorman back to Barragos. Squeezes on. He's done well. Sinan Gulhak. He's pinched it from the Dorman. He's got hands to help him out. Temu keeps it in. Does well. A little nutmeg doesn't go. Almost paid off. Here's Toma. And look at the Dorman. Just got down low. Shuts him out. It'll be better from the Western Wolves. Yeah, I think, uh, they, like you said, Pat, I think they're going to have to go to that long game and uh, utilize Sinan's strength. And get the guys that run off him, uh, Toma and uh, Gustas and Shandeb. And hopefully they can pitch a goal or two. That they've shown they can do it. Um, as the Wizards just holding up play a little bit. Just holding the ball. He's giving it some uh, magic polish there for Tamburino. That'll uh, do the Wolves wonders that extra couple of seconds here. And there's Tamburino. Quick release. Good defending here. Turns Sinan looking to rifle it straight into Arte. It's probably the fifth block he's done there, the doorman. Can have a bruise later on as they go forward here. Arte skips away. Good pressure there from Sinan. Temor tried to play the 1 2. Temor to bring it back into play. Moreland looking to kill this game off. They had a two goal lead in the first half. They've seen it evaporate. Then they have to put themselves into work. Sinan off to Gustas. Oh, he found the gap and Tamburino forced the save there. Very nearly. That's one way to get back in it. Good Sinan, another block there. Jeez, they're going to be feeling it later on. The Moreland players. Hasn't been completely easy, has it? No. Uh, they've, they've made to earn his uh, time no there. Home. Yeah, no one home on that occasion. They've, they've got to go to basics, I think, Western Wolves. Got to go to basics. Probably the one way to get it back. Tamburino now looking for the long throw. Bobbles it up nicely. Oh, chance brought down. Oh, two grabs. Good work. Ishak sends it back the other way. Sinan brings it down. Can he keep it in? He does. But Tambruna coming out. That signal came out for him. Arte. Just got to keep on going long to, to Gulhak just to get a rest by going long. 
because playing out of your own back line, you've got to work hard. Yeah, no, they don't have the legs tonight, so uh, who's here? Cozzy there, good work. Cozzy's still going. Uh, bed not giving up. You can see he'll give fight until the very last breath. An absolute warrior. His uh, first, second efforts are amazing. gusta has got to be careful here. Stephen Gustas, Tin Tin, loses out to Temu. Two left footers battling it out. Good work there from Gustas. He skips Gustav. away. Temu put in a challenge. Forces Sinan. Always looking through. Oh, it's Some of it. Let's try to lunge at it. Didn't work out. Side ball there for Western Wolves. One thing Wolves need to do is uh, Ishak needs to stop coming out when it's a side ball. Uh, keeps doing that and he leaves his goals open. There's a chance here. Oh! He's gone for the placement there, Cosimo Russo. He looked good off the boot. It's a close call, but no cigar on that occasion. Shandeb. Looking for options, looking for the line. Oh, we found Gustas on his own. Took a heavy touch. Arte bulldozes his way through. Toma tangling. Still going Arte. Just shows <laughs> brute force there, the flying dormant. His feet as the flying dormant. He's strong and uh, his second effort's great too. He's blocked almost half a dozen shots just on his own. And he's not even the keeper. No. <laughs> Ishak uh, coming out again. Gustas looking for the long ball. Lovely ball. Headed away. And another chance here for the Wolves. Just trying to conserve a bit of energy here. Going forward, Sinan goes back to his left. Tackle came in, still going, Sinan not giving up. Gustas skips away nicely here. Sinan oh. tried to square it to Gustas. It was the right idea. Just some plenty of ball. good signs. Some good signs there, Sivkarovsky. Yeah, they're showing fight. They're not giving up by all means. Chance. Oh! Oh! Sinan just said, leave it to me. Boys, just give me the ball and I'll do the rest. Tamburino, well beaten there. That was an absolute rifle. Big shot there by Sinan Gulak. Oh. The golden ponytail just goes crackety pop. He's Two now. Temu. Oh, chance here. Gulak. Hat -trick. Can he go? Oh. Gulak. Oh, oh. they've... Bungle that one. Not out of trouble yet. Here's the Wolves ball. They go the quick throw. Kept in. Abed. Shots blocked again. Still going. 4-3. They're not giving up here, the Wolves. There might be a man down, but they're giving it all. Arte. Just calming things down. More than have it. Got to do it all over again. Western Wolves breathing heavy down their, their neck with that wolf breath. That's pretty, pretty hard work there. Let's, Let's have, a, have look. a look. And you can see here from a set piece, this is what I think the one way they'll get back in. And Sinan you know, just found the gap. Look at this. Bang, bang. And whoa, that was a worm burner, Pete. That didn't, that just was beautiful to watch. Too fast to call. Even the uh, replay transitions didn't <laughs> pop up. That's how quick it was. There's more than now. Shots blocked. They've got to clear it. Abed, just, oof, oof. Timmy cops a falcon. Oh, a gangster one, slap. Two. Tini there again. Good play there by Miguel Barragos to give it to Cosimo Russo. Had a shot. Abishenda with a block. Here it is again. Oh, it's off the post. Cosi. Well. Make it more interesting of a game, that's for sure, by keeping the scores closer. Good two opportunities there to Moreland. They just couldn't find the back of the net. Oh, it's gone outside the foot there. Just went straight to Tambrino. Right idea. Moreland now got to get back Wrestle that two-goal lead. It's Pep coming on and Kevin De Santos now. Plays the one-two, De Santos. Arte. De Santos again. Just keeps going. He's got a big engine here. Pep. Is that gone out? It has gone out. Mark Ciaris yeah. on the far side. Eventually called. Yes. Interesting times, 13.33 on the clock. What's going to happen here as the Western Wolves are searching for that equaliser? The valiant effort for a team with uh, one on the bench ran off their feet. It's only a matter of time, you'd think. Side netting, Cosimo Russo looking for the free kick. No free kick was delivered. His advantage was called as they go forward straight to Tambourine. It's got to be a bit better throw than that because yeah. uh, you've got to get it to that golden ponytail. It's on a hat trick. He's got to work hard, though. Can't let him get out of there. Here he is. He's working real hard. Oh, what a battle that is between two 
Solid, solid manoeuvres here. Big units there, and it's a corner. Good work there from Sinan, and he just goes to his spot. He's got his spot, Pete. He's, you know, he's not even bothering. He's just like, look, I'm going here. Give it to me. Well, they've changed their mind there, I'd say. Well, Mark, he's got plenty of trickery. Here it is. Ooh. Another. Could it be the equaliser? Good save there by Tamburino, the Batman. Well, they went some, a different route that time. Which is good, good, smart play. Plenty of time. The referee's asking to step out. Cool heart going on the left foot. Oof. He's trying to go there. He's got plenty of uh, weapons in that armory, in the arsenal. Yeah, he's uh, definitely. There's a lethal shot on him. Gustus that time couldn't keep it down. I was wondering, has he got his uh, legs registered, Pete? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> Gustus and uh, Tamburino have won uh, championships uh, with uh, Carlton. Carlton, yeah. So, yeah. and uh, a young Gulhak was uh, at Carlton at one stage too. So, they know each other quite well. Oh, it didn't work. He tried the dummy. This could hurt him. Oh, oh Pepino that time let it go. Shandeb, it's got to be good here. Gets the free kick. Pepino a bit too overzealous there. Yeah, a bit clumsy. Went after him. Because that's quickly taken. Araha. Well, Araha's going lone ranger there. Yeah. Some tired legs out there. Is Adam Cooper coming on. Tell you what, if they're Ooh. tired, what would Western Wolves be? They're just running on a drill in and now. Oh, Raha gets through. Is that a foul? He does get the foul. He gets a foul, Pete. He, played, is... he played for it and he got it. This is a very dangerous position here, Pete. This is uh, this is Gulhak territory. This He's is, already on to right. it. He's like, just step away, boys. Put the ball down for me. I've got, I don't have enough energy for that. He feels good, you can tell. It's, it is, he's he's, he's telling got, all of them to, to get away. Look, he's <laughs> like, just move out of the way, boys. Just just follow, get the rebound if it comes through. But uh, He wants to pound this to the back of the knee. He wants to rip those nets. I feel sorry for that wall. Uh, just uh, you got to cover those crown jewels. Whatever you can, just cover it up and... Uh, Hopefully that he misses. Tambrina left himself open there. Oh, oh, where where did that go? He's just gone too high. He's seen a gap. Did maybe that go back. through the wall or just over it? I'm not too sure, Peter. Wow. It's, it's that fast that uh, the camera doesn't even pick too it up. Too quick to call. 10.27 on that clock. Adam Cooper, the fifth official on the pitch now to steady the ship. They are 4-3 up. That's more than the champions. They need to win to keep the pressure on Fitzroy and book that spot. At round 21, which uh, will be the biggest game of the season. We might have to reserve the parking here, Pete. Yeah, Might have to. <laughs> Mate, I'll tell you what, we might have to, we'll have to drone people in. <laughs> the chance now. Oh, oh, he's just eyeing and everything. He's just seeing that ball like it's like a beach balloon. He's just waffling that one. Got to be careful here, Morgan. They're on three fouls, Pete. They're at 9.50 left to go. There's the Santos. So foul is being called. He got thrown straight into the netting there. Not even the uh, railing can stop him there. So I'm not sure what's happened here. Very dangerous play, I'd say there. You've got to be very careful. Raha's thrown him into the wall. And it could be that uh, it's a free kick in earlier. So I'm not sure what happened here. So a free kick was awarded even before the ball was given. No advantage played. And uh, another foul to go up against the Wolves, I believe. One, two, will be played. Pepino! Didn't work out. He's oh, going shot. for the long punt. Oh. Very audacious. Very, very... Jeez, uh, if you beat Tamburina from there. Oh, two, good work there from Cooper laying it off. Cozzi, uh, sorry, De Santos has a shot. He was looking for Cozzi in the background, but good block there. So Wolves now having to turn attack to defence. Cooper. Cooper overplayed it. Try to roll it over. Hit the big toe. Good tackle there. And it's going to be a Western Wolves ball. Oh, there's a bit of antics. A few antics. It's a yellow card for, looks like, Pep Filio. You've got to be careful. We don't want to get stupid cards here. They've got big games coming up. And Ara trying to burn rubber right through the middle there. Cosimo stops him in his tracks. We're feeling good up here in the commentary box. Sif Karofsky, what do you think? Is it going to go down to the penalty mark? Uh, look, it might very well so. Uh, Moreland do not want to go back-to-back -back penalties. I mean, they are favourites if they do go to penalties, but you never know, Pete. They 
pressure might get to him a chance. Oh, Cozzy! Oh, oh. oh, Ishak just sat on it like an egg. Not allowing Cozzy to score. He goes long again. Oh, yeah, coming good... out. Tell you what. Could have been better Sinan if uh, Gulak was there. Yeah, Sinan just had to be there. Because you got that, that ponytail whipping across. It could take a bit of the vision away. If that just, ponytail just comes across properly, in. it might even just touch the eyelash. <laughs> and if it touches the eyelash, you might have to blink. And then when you blink, blinkity blink goes in the back of the net. Sinan goes back to his left, but good tackle. Shandeb just took his eyes off it here. Ishak, long ball over the top. That's way too long and a bit of a waste. The Western Wolves are um, in that famous victory over Pascoval in the 2018 uh, climax where they uh, defeated Pascoval here at Thomastown in the old court. Chance here, Shandeb. Oh, Shandeb. They handed Moreland the uh, premiership, their first title. Oh, Cooper was looking for the back post. Now Western Wolves could be... Putting him out of the title race. It could very well be. And it's going down to the wire. 6.52, Pete. Adam Colak's just got to get his charges going. Whatever he can do to get him going. Chancey Araha. Is that a foul? It's a corner kick nevertheless. And this could be Sinan Gulhak's off the pitch now. Oh, in the oh! middle. Simone Araha. Wow. He had every, done everything right. The emotions are flying around here, I'll tell you what. Lima, the Santos, the Brazilian connection there. And Moreland are doing it tough, I'll tell you what. They're doing it really tough in the total campaign. Oh, and just wide, I'll tell you. I thought it was in the back of the net. <sighs> Very nearly, Pepino. Is there a stink to the tail? They've gone wide. They must be listening to the commentary. Maybe Pete, they've got an inside uh, word. Uh, as we see Adam Cooper now. They've just got to conserve energy and just really throw everything at him in the last three or four minutes. Plenty of time left for him. Ball in the middle. Oh, oh lovely. lovely play. One, two. It's got to be a finish. Oh, oh and it is. And that's going to hurt Western Wolves. As Alison Lima casually pivots around and corrals it off the post. And that was just cold-blooded there. From Alison Lima. Beautiful goal in the end. Look at this Pep Filio. Lovely one, two here. The Brazilian connection. Look at it turn. Beautiful turn. And sold it nicely. Can't do much about that. And uh, on that, there's a timeout being called in the background, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere, you mad frothers. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Five minutes, 30 in the clock, and the goal from Alison Lima has put Morland in a more comfortable 5-3 lead. Alex Sivkarovsky joining me here. Peter Parthimos, what do you reckon, Alex? Yeah, that was a, that was a basically just a stab in the heart, that one. Uh, they were in it, 4-3, five minutes to go. They're still not out of it, by all means, uh, but you've got to think, with only one sub, it's, uh, do they have the legs? Uh, they'll be running on adrenaline now, and... You know, that yeah, can, coming into the stop clock, it is hard. It gets harder. You know, you're, you're, you're relying on a lot of running. Oh, good work there from Raha. They get to feel well, they're, they're creeping up. That's four. That's that's a positive for them. If they get a five and then you know, force another one, they can get a penalty spot. But uh, they need a goal, Pete. If they can get a goal, put that pressure back on Moreland. Uh, they've made Moreland uncomfortable uh, tonight. And... Uh, something that I reckon uh, the last two weeks, Moreland have felt uncomfortable both with Camberfield and... The Western Wolves, because I think they've watched both teams not produce or put out a top team. I think Camphill were a bit understaffed. Chance here, oh, Cooper, big save. save, Ishak. And 
you sort of rest a little bit. You don't come out firing. Could, could it be rest? Could it be pressure, Pete? Maybe the pressure's the on pressure. Moreland, you know. They, they handle the pressure quite well, Moreland. I think it's more knowing that, uh, oh, you look out there and you think, oh, yeah, they're, they're depleted. We're going to have an easier run tonight. And then you don't go 100% or 105%, you know. Yeah. Could and it you, be, you know, playing you Give out 90%. Maybe is, is the man, uh, you know, Maybe just a little chance. Oh, Ooh, the, Raha. Is D-Man influencing it? No, I'm not saying, like, maybe uh, D-Man likes playing the, not the, not the victim here, what do they call it? The, oh, the, big tackle free kick on the line there. Playing the, um, playing the character. Yeah, maybe he's... Uh, timeout called. Timeout called here. So, chance. We'll go to a quick ad break again, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back, Lady Gentlemen, Series Futsal here for Round 19. Coming to you live from the Series Futsal Arena in Thomastown. It is the champs leading 5-3 against the Western Wolves. And a chance here for Mohamed Till as he skies that one over the bar. And Moreland have restored that two-goal buffer again. And uh, they're probably going to look for more here. And there it is. Lima. Alison Lima stepped up. Yep, he's... Uh, <laughs> Definitely been lethal as usual. And he just buries that one away. See a lovely ball from Aata Ibrahim and he cut in and just put it in the back of the net. And uh, that's all over here. I think 6 3. No, um, they put up a big fight here with some moves considering they were a couple of men down. And Morland. Tidal hopes. Still in the balance, Pete. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Shand lovely turn and a beautiful Ooh. goal by Shandep. Hello. Hello. Shandep gets one back. 6-4. Uh, beautiful goal. Let's have a look at the replay. He's turned at him. Cooper, lovely. Have a look at this. Let's have a look at it. This is a sit piece here, Gustus. Shot came in from Toma. It's bounced off Cooper's knee. Lima tangling there in the background. And Sinan... Lovely ball, great turn, and Shandeb. Beautiful chip. Just did it beautifully there. Looks like uh, there's a bit of a push in the back here. Alison Lima got pushed into the uh, into uh, the Western Wolves bench. And in this case, there wasn't anyone to hold him back because there's no one in the bench. <laughs> no one there. <laughs> he looks like he's okay. Probably the chair's broken, that's for sure. Let's have a look at him. Cooper now. Cooper. Fifth official. Bit of more respect, seven Ooh. six four. The score looks a lot more better than uh, six three. Can Western Wolves finish in a flurry? Season hanging on the Terrible. line is Toma loses out there to Allison, who's been Ooh, dangerous. Another big save, he stepped shake. up. Allison, when they've needed a hero, it's Allison stepped up today. He's uh, got a hat trick, I believe he's got a hat trick, uh, Sivkarovsky. I uh, will just check the wee froth up. Yeah, he's got uh, definitely two in the second half, that's a short. Tamburina and Cooper, while we're looking for the stat, Cooper, little touch there, two hat trick, Pete. Yeah, we got one in the first half and then two in the second. He's got the hat trick, free kick there, Wisdom Wolves, uh, free kicks mounting up as well. 
Another goal from the Western Wolves will make it more interesting, that's for sure, going into the last minute. And that man, Gulhak, he'd love to be able to get his hat-trick. Yeah, definitely deserves that. He's uh, put in an absolute solid shift here. Coach Darren Saban will be happy with Moreland. As I was trying to get the word out, he likes to play the villain, Pete. Maybe. That's what it was. It wasn't uh, the victim Either or the, the guarantee. The Whoa, Ooh. Tambourine had to spray it over the top. That's a big hit there. He's a villain, isn't he? Yeah, he likes to play that villain-type role. And uh, will it be coming out over the coming weeks? Is all to see. He's, uh, shut out the media. Or oh, chance here. Tom I just got it stuck underneath. Back heel there. Tamburino there coming out. Aren't they now? Minute 20 left to play. Looks for the line. Finds Temel on his oh, own. Gets around. Temel. Muhammad Temel. Take a bow, son. Sold Ishak for a hot dog. Beautiful goal. Beautiful goal by Temel. And Timmy the Temel, he just goes crackety pop, roll over, talk us through it. And it's a beautifully done here, Tamburino. Lovely ball out to Arte Ibrahim. Temel knew it was coming to him. He just made the run, went around. Ishak came out and Temel sold the dummy nicely. Beautifully done and he makes Perfect. it seven. Makes it seven. And we've said earlier, but we'll say it again, Morland. Next two opponents is Pasco Val. And then they've got Fitzroy. They need to, obviously they're going to win this game and they need to win the next game to keep the pressure on Fitzroy for that last big game. It's going to be the ultimate wow, game. what a game that's going to be. What will Coach Darren Saban... Five fouls, Mullen, by the way. Yep, what will he pull out? He's a bag of tricks. Is he playing my games, Pete? Is this all, all part of his mind games here? He's had a media ban. He's, he's not talking to us at all. Well, he's the current champion at the moment. So... He he can play the games all he likes, and if he can uh, get the double, he'll be uh, well worth it. He could be three but, uh, he's got a fierce opponent in uh, Fitzroy waiting yeah. in, the, in, the, in the rounds. They want to take it. And at the moment, Fitzroy look like they're going to take the women's, the youth, and the men's they're if just, they win. They're just going to clean up. And they've got Foz Cup as well. They've yeah, got Foz right. Cup and then the uh, Clubs Cup. Clubs so Cup, geez, they're going to come away with everything I, I at don't, the moment. I think Pascoval's come close to doing that. Was, Not sure yeah. if they won the youth at that time. Well, the pressure's on. They definitely won women and men at the same time if was Cup. Ooh. Oh. Cool, Hunk just put everything behind he, that one. And uh, 54 seconds left to go. We won't have a player interview, unfortunately. We do more than have put the media ban on us. They put the muzzler on they us. They have indeed, and uh, not willing to talk to us off camera either, Pete. I've tried to have a chat to Darren Saban. He's just giving me the... The five hands. Giving you the calm down. And just kind of, yep, just uh, back away, please. I'll uh, talk to you. We're not uh, ready. That's right. Okay. So uh, we're not sure whether it's mind games or he likes playing that villain type role. I think well, he likes playing that villain I type role. I think he role. likes the villain. Yeah. yeah, he's the villain for sure. But, uh, you know, look, it's, it's, he's put a muscle on his own team. So, you know, serious futsal here will deliver week in, week out. It's up to, I think, next season... It won't be that easy to do that, but uh, nevertheless, it is what it is here, Sivkarovski, and we keep it. on going. That's right. There's plenty of futsal still left to go. Brigos, good work there from Gustus now. 15 seconds left. Good challenge from Arte. Shandeb looks up. Is there Arte. a goal? Is there a goal here? Shandeb, who's got a nice little uh, chippity crack over the top. Arte, bring it in. Goes back to Cooper. Cooper. Still going. He's going lane Ranger Coops. And uh, oh, unfortunately, oh, 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 the clock will oh, oh. beat him. And the champs take it out 7-4 against a hapless Western Wolves. They huffed and they puffed. They put up a brave fight in the end. They just ran out of legs. And Wolves, unfortunately, lose another game. Moreland continue on. They are three points behind with two games to go. No player interview, so one more game to go. It is Pascal Valvis Camberfield coming up after this. Stay tuned. One more left.